All right, like all of you guys are probably, uh, you know, glued to the television watching the uh, Kyle Rittenhouse case. Um, I just wanted to, to make a really quick um, video on this. You know, this is an AR-15, uh, um, one same or same model as far as like the uh, or same make. Um, the AR-15 is what Kyle Rittenhouse used for self-defense, and you know this goes this goes right against what the left is always talking about as to why do you need to own um, this type of weapon um, for civilian use? Because they consider this an assault weapon, right? This is a weapon of war and nobody needs to have one of these. Um, and what Kyle Rittenhouse did, guys, shows exactly why this is such a great platform for self-defense. It's it's an automatic, semi-automatic weapon, which means every time you pull the trigger, another round chambers. You don't have to physically chamber around, strike a bolt, right, or pull a bolt back to put another round in. Um, this weapon automatically chambers another round and makes it um, available instantly. So why is this so important, and especially in the Kyle Rittenhouse deal? because this allowed him to engage multiple threats, right? Multiple threats without having to rechamber around every single time. As this is exactly what we're talking about, right? If you're hit with five, six, seven people coming at you, 10 people, 100 people, I don't know, pick a number. When you're hit with multiple people coming at you intending to do you bodily harm, I want a weapon like this that's gonna end up chambering around every time I pull the trigger, a new round's gonna be available. That's what he did. If he had to stop and reload his weapon, Kyle Rittenhouse would have been dead. It's that plain, that simple, um, that easy to understand. Semi-automatic handguns, semi-automatic weapons. It allows you to put multiple rounds on multiple targets, multiple threats and eliminate those threats. And that's exactly what he did with this, uh, with this platform. So, you know, again, they're, they're looking at, well, and, and this is why the left want to uh, ban these, right? Because they want to do this uh, overwhelming of force, right? This, uh, you know, this mass force against uh, two or three individuals. They, they know they're going to sacrifice one or two, right? And, and yet, if you don't have the ability to reload, then, you know, there's going to be, you know, obviously the, you're going to be eliminated. So this allows you to eliminate multiple targets or multiple threats. Um, and, and guys, I don't, if you guys have been watching any of this, I mean, <laughs> the prosecution, their, their star witnesses admitted they were going to kill him. They admitted they had weapons, um, you know, and... and so this is a clear, classic case of self-defense, self-defense, right? Um, and, and of course, remember the left is going to continue to say this is a weapon of war. Well, you know, um, this is a weapon of war. Fuck, I carried a knife in, in combat, right? I mean, this is a weapon of war, but because it's black, does that make it, you know, because the way it looks, oh my God, it's tactical, a knife is a knife. A gun is a gun. And in the right hands, guys, this knife is as dangerous as this gun. Not at distance, right? But, I mean, I know guys that are really, really lethal with knives. Really, really lethal with knives. They can, they can commit mass casualties with knives. We see it happen in foreign countries all the time, right? But, um, I mean, guys, anything really can be a weapon of war. I mean, hell... We used to eat in a chow hall with a fucking spoon. Is that a weapon of war? Well, we were in a combat zone. It's a weapon of war. I mean, come on. Seriously? Again, this is exactly why you need to own uh, this type of weapon um, for personal defense. To be able to eliminate multiple threats. So, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse in, in this case is making the argument for this as a personal defense weapon. So we'll keep following, we'll keep you guys uh, posted on, on what's going on, but I, I really think, I mean, this this case, uh, you know, against Kyle Rittenhouse, um, now there's some other charges and stuff that he's facing, you know, unlawfully possessing a weapon underage, whatever, uh, that kind of stuff, I don't know, but 
But if this is not a clear cut case of self defense, um, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. And and in that case, then you know mob rules, right? Because had Kyle Rittenhouse not a had this weapon, he would have been dead in the streets. And I guarantee you that they would have never found who killed him. They would have never found who killed him. And, and you know, the funny thing is the prosecution even brings up the fact that he was 17 years old. And why were you out there? And, you know, among all the other adults and stuff. Well, I'm going to ask the question, and, and maybe this is a burning question on everybody's mind. How many fucking rioters were carded? I mean, was there somebody like, was there a gate somewhere where they were checking cards and, you know, and, and making sure that everybody was legal, of legal age to be there? I mean, come on. I mean, now you're just reaching at straws, you're grasping for shit that isn't there. And uh, to claim that he was 17 years old, and would you tell anybody you were 17? No. As, as I'm sure 90% of the rioters, 99.100% of the rioters didn't fucking comment on how old they were. So now you got the prosecution just grasping at straws for shit. Um, and really, they know they have lost the self-defense argument. Um, they know they have lost their case. And, and the left is, is going to go absolutely bananas because they want to uh, get rid of weapons just like this um, because of how effective it is in self-defense. Right? There's no difference between this and my Glock um, or any other semi-automatic pistol. Um, the ability to engage multiple targets, multiple threats um, with, uh, you know, with a single magazine. So anyway, that's my take on this. And this is why I think Kyle Rittenhouse in this case has made an excellent, excellent argument for the AR-15 to be considered the number one self-defense weapon that you can own. All right? So semi-automatic weapons, number one self-defense weapon. Um, keep posting. Make sure you like this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but appreciate you guys uh, watching. Hit that like button and share the video. Thanks for listening.